Hello again, Kelly Eggers, your Assistant Chief Fire Marshal, and today we're here to talk about carbon monoxide and some dangers associated with it. Uh, carbon monoxide, often called the invisible or silent killer, is a colorless, odorless gas created with the incomplete burning process of any fuels that contain carbon. At home, there are several potential sources of carbon monoxide, your gas ranges, gas dryers, hot water heaters, furnaces, fireplaces, space heaters, running vehicles, small engine generators, and more. Pretty much anything that produces a flame or spark, carbon monoxide will be present. And if the appliance is not properly ventilated or the engine is being operated in an enclosed space, the potential for CO poisoning exists. We monitor carbon monoxide particles in parts per million. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health has determined that an acute exposure of 1,200 parts per million can be immediately dangerous to life and health. Where concentrations are this level or greater, the oxygen in our bloodstream is replaced with carbon monoxide, resulting in serious injuries or death. The adverse health effects of CO exposure uh, are dependent on the quantity of CO taken in and the health and fitness level of the victim. Infants, the elderly, pregnant women, and anyone with a pre-existing medical condition such as COPD, asthma, anemia, or heart disease can be more severely affected by lower concentrations of CO than a healthy individual. According to the Center for Disease Control, more than 400 Americans a year die from unintentional carbon monoxide poisoning. And more than 20,000 emergency room visits are created each year related to CO exposure. Signs and symptoms of CO exposure include general weakness, headache, nausea or vomiting, dizziness, confusion, blurred vision, shortness of breath, loss of consciousness, seizures, and ultimately death. The home should be evacuated immediately and 911 contacted if more than one individual in the home uh, is exhibiting the same signs or symptoms or if the home is outfitted with an alarming carbon monoxide detector, you need to get out as soon as possible. So what can you do to prevent carbon monoxide poisoning in your home? First, if you do not have a carbon monoxide detector in your home, you should get one. Costs vary, typically ranging anywhere between $20 and $100 per unit. The National Fire Protection Agency advises carbon monoxide detectors should be installed in common areas outside of bedrooms and one located on each level of your home. For the greatest protection, CO alarms should be interconnected so when one sounds, they all go off. Have your heating system and water heater or, and any other gas, oil, or coal burning appliances serviced by a qualified technician on an annual basis. Make sure your gas appliances are properly vented. Have your chimney checked and cleaned each year. Never use a generator inside your home, garage, or less than 20 feet away from any open window, door, or vent. Never let a car idle in the garage. Never use a gas charcoal grill indoors. These are just a few things to consider when making yourself carbon monoxide safe. For additional information, check out the links at the end of the segment. Again, my name is Kelly Eggers. It's been my pleasure talking to you about CO emergencies today. Uh, have a great day and remember, stay fire safe. Thank you.